What's up, guys? It's Kimchi. And Tofu. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. We're going into ReZero Season 2, Episode number 3 and 4 today. Me and Tofu, uh, we're not like riding on this. We're not paddling on the same boat today. No. Right? No. It's like I'm paddling this way. She's paddling the other way. No. What do you mean by that? We're not synergizing well today. You're not synergizing well with me today. What do you mean? I am, dude, I am synergizing with you. You're not. Dude, like today, we're just like going the total opposite with everything we're doing today. <laughs> Hold on, we're just gonna go out and just rumble it out and then we'll come back. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're gonna be going into two episodes today. Also, I wanna mention about the last video where I made a little big mistake. Guys, I am so sorry. I made a mistake about Myth and Royd. Just that time, I was just like really so focused on like hearing the OP because Myth and Royd, and I made a mistake that Myth and Royd was the one that made the OP, but it wasn't. It was Suzuki that made the uh, OP for also for season one for Redo and season two. So no hate on her. Thank you. But somebody else did say on the comment correctly was that he, you, whoever you are, you actually said it for me perfectly. Myth and Royd is the queen of... Is it Kai? Is it Kai? Yes. In my personal opinion. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's what I was trying to mean. Yes. Yeah. That's what I meant. But she yeah, is. she is the queen. Especially Overlord. Oh. oh. Yeah. But uh, Style Helix. Uh, that's the song I was talking about. But that was the ED actually. And I said, Oh my God. Uh, Myth and Roy started. Uh, he they the one that did the OP. But Style Helix was ED. Yeah, ED. Yeah. So I just got exposed. Um, <laughs> I'm not a true Myth and Roy fan, I guess. <laughs> Which makes me really sad that I got exposed like that. Or ReZero fan. <laughs> or ReZero fan. Yes, it makes me really sad. <laughs> but it's been a while, all right? All right? But I got you. Uh, I'm gonna get my chest hair. So we were actually thinking about this. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not gonna shave my chest hair. He's gonna wax it. I'm gonna wax it because shaving it is too boring, right? It's too vanilla. And we're actually gonna have the boys help us out on this. Yeah, so I was thinking like, should we put on the video? But we actually have a very, very big stream coming up on Friday. Um, which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow, yes. Wait, so is today Thursday? Today's Thursday. Yeah. I'm going to try to release this video as soon as possible. So that it's going to be on Friday, yeah. Pacific time, 6 p.m. It's going to be a very, very fun big stream. Yes. I will add the chest waxing on that stream. So make sure you guys be there. Yes. 6 p.m. YouTube, not Twitch, YouTube Live. Without further ado... Let's get into the episode. Let's get in. Yeah. <gasps> She's young? Yeah, she does look young. Man, look at her. She's bae. <laughs> I still can't get used to her eyebrows though. Like the or like what is the eyelashes? Eyelashes. Yeah, they're like so furry. I feel like it's creating a new fetish. Yeah. Remember Pinky's up? <laughs> oh, whoa. Wait, it looks so hot. Yeah. Just one shot it. <laughs> oh, 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 what body? Wait, which fluid? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my tasty. <laughs> Wait, they vomit? Why would they vomit? Wait, she has a good sense of humor though. Oh, whoa. So this whole Windows XP wallpaper was just, you know, made. How come he's the only one that's allowed to talk to her though? Oh. Which of lust? Wow. Oh shoot, we're getting all the rich, the witch background. Yeah. Sloth. Yeah, that's the one that... Oh wow. Saw. She's really sexy. Oh, she's like a child. Oh, beautiful innocence. Ah, so witch of greed. Greed for knowledge. Satella. Yeah. Yep. So Tella killed all the other witches. <laughs> so is she drinking her own fluid? <laughs> uh oh, what did she do to him? Hmm. <laughs> oh, so all of, all of this was because he defeated Slothful? 
Yeah, the slot factor. Oh. So the slot factor chose him. So he has the slot factor inside of him. <laughs> I'd rather talk to Amelia than, than you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god, dude, she's my new bae, guys. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, I love this girl. She's acting like this because she's the greed of uh, not gre greed of knowledge. So she wants to share knowledge or something, right? Yeah. yeah. She's greedy. So we can't tell anybody that this happened. Mm. What's the trial of the sanctuary? Oh, 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 hot man. She like a cat. <laughs> I love, I love her. <laughs> I don't know, she doesn't seem that evil to me. Like from what I expected, you know, from the trailer and this one. She has like a bubbly personality too, kind of. Yeah, she has a light side to her. <laughs> Wait, he forgot? What the hell happened to this guy? Cool. Oh! Shark, shark guy. <laughs> <laughs> What the Best hell bird. is this? I wonder if this is the person they said to watch out for. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like his outfit. So he looks like a dragon. Uh oh. Ah, no, Patrio! <laughs> Just take a nap and then this guy freaking like. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. The... Yeah. Dario, that's right. I couldn't get the name right. Frederica is uh, the maid, the new maid, right? Yes. Oh, that's why they have the same teeth. Yeah, that's what gave it away. And they have the both the same necklace. What is he saying? <laughs> oh, she's okay, good. Whoa, Emilia, look at that. I thought Frederica said to stay away from this guy, beware of him. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's only, yeah, that's right, only mixed bloods. Yeah. Happy, so. Too bad when Otto is full blooded. Yeah. That's right, okay. So basically, you would be able to make it and not me. Since you're half-blood. Mm. There's a bunch of half-human. <laughs> Ramu! He That's likes how being it... bossed around? Maybe he likes Ram. Oh. Maybe only, only from Ram. Yeah. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> oh yeah, Ram doesn't remember Ram. Yeah, you know what? I think Amelia really, really loves him. Yeah, Do you think so? Yeah, she's taking really good care of him. <laughs> Meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. What happened to him? Ah, ah, yeah. He knows. Yeah. Well, Roswell knows everything. Oh, his family's taking care of this? Oh, this Oh, weird. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't think Akitona is the is an evil one. Yeah, what happened to him? Oh, they're in house house arrest. <laughs> they can't leave. Wait, now they're now they're prison too. What? Trial. What is this trial? Dang, so they're stuck here until Amelia completes the trial. Yeah. I love how everyone calls him Sama. You know? <laughs> they respect him. Amelia! 
But the witch said that he could do the uh, trial. What the hell? Nobody likes like likes her or something or believe in her? No respect. Half level. Ah, oh, because elf. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh, so she has to prove she's not a witch. Aww. Come on. She won them over. Because what she's trying to do is something for them. Yeah, it's, know, not it's not out of selfishness. Yeah. And she's not asking like, hey, praise me or something. She just want to be friends. It's more genuine. Yeah. Oh, the Oh. Whoa. Oh. <sighs> yes. Is this where the trial is? Oh my god. Oh. Holy cow. Here we go. Damn. Good luck, Kambate! Kambate, fighting! Ooh. So it has to glow to be a proof? Or something like. Um, yeah, that's what it said. Oh. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Already a pro. Oh, oh no. no. Come on. Oh, wait, it's glowing again. Everything's okay. Oh, ah, of course. No. Of course. It's never easy. Oh! He's back in his path! Oh. He's back! Oh my god, this is the dad! Holy cow, that's the dad! Wait! Ooh. What? He got Izekai back! No, well, he's gotta face his past. Face his past? Yeah, that's what the. Did you not hear what the thing said when he passed out? Yeah. First, you must p face your past. Face your so past. he's in the trial. He got accepted because it glowed blue again. And you remember the witch, the witch of greed said. I will give you the gift of being able to go through the trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The coffee spot. So, oh, this, oh, that's why it glowed Again. when when Subaru was running to it. Yeah. Oh shoot. Okay, so, okay, okay. So what you're saying is he didn't get Isekai to the to to the world. It's it's, just, it's the past. Yeah, it's a trial. It's a trial. So that okay. To face so, his past. To face his past. Okay, okay. Ah, wow. So Amelia is. Has to go through her past too, then. Yes. That's true. Whoa. So they're both doing the trial, mm -hmm. but for some reason, it stopped glowing for Amelia. And I think it stopped glowing because the witch, Ekidona, wanted Subaru to go in there too, because what she had made um, the stipulation for being able to go see her mm -hmm. was that he forget that the whole tea party ever happened. So he forgot about all of that. Oh, is that why he was like Ekidona? Yeah, because oh. like he's like that name, but he didn't remember anything. That's why he didn't say anything. Mm. It's because he forgot about it, mm. and that's why he didn't say anything about I can face the trial when they said when the villagers were like, "Oh, can, you're gonna do the trial for us," mm -hmm. and he's like, "No, I can't. I would if I could, but I can't." Ah, because he would have remembered that Ekidona gave him something, so he was like, yeah. I because he would have been like, no, I'm going to do it, yes. not Amelia. Yes. Okay, that's right. So he did forget it. I, I yeah. always thought like he still knew or something. No, he forgot because she made him forget. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes more sense because Subaru does big mouth, right? He's going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, they're going to sanctuary the trial. And Ra uh, Roswell is bandaged up. He's beat up because he failed the trial. He didn't fail the trial. It's that the trial did not accept him. That's what happens when you try to face a trial when you're not a half-blood, when you don't meet the terms to be able to do the trial. Oh, okay, because that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, Roswell's a half-blood. No, he tried to get into the trial and he didn't get accepted, and so that's why he looks like that. So I, I don't I don't know if they beat him up or if it just kicked him out. And it, He looks pretty beat up. Right? Yeah, yeah. But even the other guy, the uh, Garfield, yeah. he, he it looks like he wanted to do the trial too, but then because he said that if I could, I would. Yeah. So these guys all want to... I mean, yeah. what is Garfield in the first place? Is he a security guard? Uh, I think he's just somebody that lives in the sanctuary. He's a half-dragon. Yeah. And I guess he just... Even though he is half-blood, he can't, he can't do the trial for some reason. Yeah. Okay, okay. I see. I don't know why. Oh, wow. Wow. So hopefully, maybe he'll be able to leave once... 
um, Amelia beats the trial or Subaru. Subaru beats or Subaru, so it's either one. Yeah. Wow, okay, so we have two chances. Yes. Okay, I see. So if one fails, we have another chance. Right, okay. But I don't think anybody will know about it because they're both in there at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 okay. Man, um, also, Ekitona, she's uh, completely different from what I've imagined, yeah. uh, what I've been expecting, because, I mean, we saw her twice now from the trailer and then from the last episode, right? We got a glimpse of her. Yes. And from what I thought, uh, my perspective of Ekitona was like this really, like, um, uh, uh, what is that, sexy, uh, you know, she's just like, her voice is going to be like, oh, Subaru, <laughs> I am the witch of greed. Oh. You know, like, oh, I'm so sexy. Yeah. But then she's so bubbly and so cute. Yeah, she's cute. And she's not like, I mean. She's I, not evil. She's the witch of uh, greed because she is greedy for knowledge. Yeah. She wants more knowledge. That's what makes her the witch of greed. But what I'm saying is these witches, and she also ex explained the backstory of, like, the other witches, witch of wrath, witch of lust. Yes. Uh, which of envy, which is the Satella. Satella is the envy, the, the yeah. most dangerous one. Yes, that yeah. killed that uh, killed all the other witches. Which agreed, or Ekidona, she's dead. She's dead. And even in her death, mm -hmm. she's still trying to gain more knowledge. more knowledge. That's why she's using Subaru. But Subaru was only able to meet her because of the witch of sloth. Dude, yeah, that's right. That was interesting. Yeah, the sloth, uh, what was it, faction. The sloth faction chose him because he's the one that defeated s the sloth. Man, I love Ekidona. Yeah, dude, she's I cute. I love it, man. I don't yeah. know why, dude. I was just like, keep looking at her. I was like, dude, she's like, you know, like, nice little white hair with the gothic outfit. I love mm. her outfit. Yeah, it's so cute. Oh, dude, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Babe, go, you gotta, you gotta wear that for me. <laughs> I don't think I could pull it off like her. Come on, you can wear that and I'll wear Garfield for you. And you want me to put caterpillars on my eyes? Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to her uh, fuzzy eyes. I like eyelashes. it. Yeah. And also, um, one thing I saw, so you know when we see Subaru in his room before his dad came in, yeah. he had little figures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So hold on, is that uh, Dude, I swear, dude, if that's Kono Subaru, dude, I'll be tripping out. Oh. That's Aqua, right? That's not. Oh, sorry. That's Did not keep... Aqua. That's not Aqua? No. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. She looks strong. Aqua's but, not strong. But they all have light hair. Right? Well, it kind of looks like Aqua. It's like Aqua with two swords. It's like Aqua a mix of it. Aqua has blue hair. Yeah, she has blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're white hair. Dude, you know what? I think that explains why uh, Subaru likes Amelia. That's his style. Look at his figurines. They all look like Amelia. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the white oh, yeah. hair. So that's that's a style preference why he likes Amelia. Yes. <laughs> that's a little kid. He doesn't like Amelia for like, you know, Amelia, Amelia. He likes Amelia because that's like his. Um, he likes her looks. Yeah, it's like it's like, like his childhood boner or something. Oh my god. Yeah, you know how like you have when you grow up, like you know you get that adolescent stage and you're growing up and then you have like a certain style you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like that's that that makes sense. All mm. right. I see. So it's a preference. Yeah, it's a preference. Mm. He likes that type. Okay. He like yeah, he likes that type. Yeah, he likes that type. Damn. Oh, speaking of the dad too. Dude, what's up with the dad? That guy's super ripped. Dang, yeah. yeah. Holy cow, he's very fit. He's super fit. It's like a freaking dilf, dude. What the hell? Dilf? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. A dilf. Cause yeah. yeah, like I didn't expect like Subaru to have some uh, like a dad like that. No, yeah. yeah. I, yeah, that's not the type of dad I was expecting. Exactly. But he's really full of energy. He's really... So yeah, you were like... Sob. Yeah. yeah, wow, that's interesting. Also, going back to Ekidona. Yeah. Ekidona, she, she's talking like she wants Subaru. I mean, she wants Subaru. Because she says, after you face the trial or after that, let's see if you will want me more or something. Ah. Let's, see, let's see if you... Uh, what you think about me after? Some somewhere along those lines. So it's like, she's like, come here, love me, another girl uh, for Subaru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amelia's like Subaru. We faced the whole trials. Now we're done with everything. Let's go, girl, and make some baby. Chotomate. I love Ekidona. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, 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 figure four leg lock. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> oh, you got him back. This guy kind of, but that kind of reminds me of Ichigo's dad, like the bleach, bleach dad. Oh, oh, this is his mom. Yeah, wow, damn. She's so kawaii. This guy got some good looking parents, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, Subaru has a nice collection. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of peas. Peas. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, toast with soup. That's interesting. <laughs> so the mom makes him eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, he has a freaking fun family. Yeah. Love pilaf. Ooh. Pilaf. Oh, they ate it all. That's good. Oh. The heck? Did he remember why he's here? Uh, I don't know. It's where the trial begins, right? At 8 o'clock? The trial begins at 8? Oh, he's looking at the, what time the school starts? I think this guy totally forgot about what he's been doing. Oh my god, he's moon. Oh god, he's moonwalking into the room. <sighs> oh damn, so uh, beautiful. Yeah, ah, oh, the cherry blossoms. Yeah. The dad is so positive. I like him. Yeah. What the hell is that? Yeah, what is going on with them? Cola. What the? What the heck? <laughs> he was trying to. He was trying to prank him to get it on his face, huh? But Subaru knew. <laughs> he knows his dad. Yeah, of course. His dad's a jokester. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> was that Amelia's voice? My parents would kick my butt if I missed school. <laughs> mean, <laughs> mean, mean eyes from the mom. She looks so nice. Yeah. Well, I don't get this. So, is it getting triggered by something or is it just like random? I don't know. Oh, it's Amelia. Amelia, yeah. Oh shoot, he doesn't even know who she is. Yeah. Who? The, that was a different girl right there, though. That girl had pigtails. What do you mean, pig? It's this different girl. This sounds like Amelia. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's Amelia. Oh. She probably just changed her hairstyle. Oh. There is a girl. No, no, no. There. Our girls, I like. Girls? Not singular, plural. But I love Amelia. <laughs> Cute. Mm. Ah. This kid is causing some trouble. Yeah, wow. but you know, the things he's doing, you know, I know this feeling. Yeah. Oh. Man. Yeah, he, he was really depressed. Oh, so he just stopped going. It's not like he just skipped a couple days or what or this day. Oh, shoot. It's Amelia's turn now. I mean, uh, Rem's turn. Rem? A true friend. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the hell? That's not a head cut. It's like an axe kick. Yeah. Mr.Katsuno! 
This is where he gets his moves. Mm. <sighs> it's going back to school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Straight up mayonnaise? <laughs> 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 Making sure he goes to school. Yeah, yeah. お父さんと何話してたの?父さんみたいにやろうとするのはやめたってことね。あれちゃうよね。お母さんはどこまで終わるよ。だって巣原のこと見てるんだよ。いや、いや。ああ。The <笑> あれが釣り合うかどうかの問題。あの人の子だね。うん。ああ。その子供。いや、so so beautiful。だから長いお別れになる。どんなとこにいても、俺は二人のことを思ってるし。スバル。もう自分が自分で自分が嫌いになるようなことうん。うん。<笑> あれにそれじゃ。行くよ。あ、そうだ。行ってらっしゃい。Oh, right before he got teleported, she said the same thing. Oh, damn. <laughs> <sighs> oh, what the hell? Today's episode. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Oh, my God. Ekidona! Oh, my God. What? What? What did why is do? she here? Obviously. Wait, why is she here? She's the one that let him take the test. Oh, wait, hold on. Ekidona being here is is important, but hold on, scratch that. Holy cow. Today's episode was... I, I gotta say, today's episode was the most, probably the best, best ReZero episode ever. Oh yeah, I agree. Oh my I God. definitely agree on that one. Oh, dude, I was not expecting this today. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad you could, um, you can <sighs> express your feelings through your tears. I mean, I feel it, but there's, I have no tears. Huh? I, uh, no, 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 no. But it's... it was such a good episode. Oh, dude. Oh, really man, good. that was so beautiful. Holy cow. Mothers don't have to say anything. Mothers don't say anything. Mothers no. just know, man. She... The mother knew more about Subaru than the dad, and the dad yeah. had to talk to Subaru to actually understand the little boy. Yeah. But then the mom. She already knew. She knew. Like, she even says, like, it's been a long time I've actually even walked with you. Like, and, and she just knows everything. And you can just tell, like, the mom's been watching her, t watching him 24 7, everything that she's been doing, everything till now. Like, she's like, uh, she knew that he wasn't going to school, but instead of, like, getting, like, Punishing him and be like, Subaru, why? She understood him. She understood why he wasn't going to school. She understood that he 
had this pressure of trying to be the best that he could be because of his father. Yeah. He had such high expectations mm -hmm. that burdened mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. So it was the dad, because uh, it looks like the dad was very popular. Yes. Uh, if you see, like, everyone's like, oh, that's your son. Hey, it's him. It's him. It's he him. He has so many friends. He's friends with everybody. I mean, look, look at his charisma. He, he, he looks like he's, like, so physically built. Yeah. He's very athletic. He's also look, probably really smart as well. Yeah. And Subaru wanted to be like the dad. But the thing is, growing up, trying to be like the dad, everyone's just always like, yeah, that's definitely your kid. Like, he's just become the shadow of his dad. And... Uh, the reason why, it, at first, yes, he succeeded and became the best at it. But the reason why he started to go down and down was because it wasn't him. He wasn't doing it for him. He wasn't doing it for himself. It was always just doing it. Try to try to be where his dad is at. So it's like he lost the world. It's like his grade, it's, that's why his grades are not improving. His no. uh, athleticism is not improving. It's not that he, it wasn't improving because he was just getting weaker. It was just the fact that he lost his... It his was will. His will. It, was, it wasn't something he... He, he it wanted was, to do. Yeah, it was just too much pressure, right? Yeah. And I, I totally relate with the part where he's just like, you know, why waste time on those when I could just use the time to make people laugh? So that's where you see him, you know, kind of do all this prank stuff, trying to get the attention, making sure that he's entertaining everyone, trying to break the rules here and there so that they can have fun. When you hang out with me, Subaru... You yeah. will have fun. I will make you guys have fun, you know? And he yeah. understood that. But then what happened was, as you see him running, he, he's been losing friends one at a time, one by one, one by one, and he ended up being alone. Yeah, because he's trying to do too much. He wasn't himself. Exactly. And then he, uh, um, you know, ended up being in a depression, and that's what happened, why he uh, uh, stopped going to school. Uh, just real quick, I do want to I do want to confess something, and I do want to admit something while watching ReZero. So, um I've talked with Tofu about this, about, you know, just Subaru as a character, okay? Mm -hmm. So Subaru as a character, he's a... Uh, I, I couldn't really understand the character, Subaru, from season one, right? So, yeah. and I couldn't really understand him, so I just accepted with as who Subaru is, and it's just his character. But the thing that I couldn't really understand uh, Subaru is that he was a shunny, right? He was a shunny, a very introvert, right? Mm -hmm. He's a very introvert, but then he all of a sudden he got Izekai to this other world, and he's all all of a sudden he's like this big extrovert trying to be a hero and it's doing... like a new it's a new life. It's yeah. a new life, but also at the same time, it's just like you don't being an introvert, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, just because you're transferred somewhere else, you're just gonna be like, oh, I'm this new person, you know? Yeah. But then, so I didn't really quite understand that uh, aspect of Suara the character. I was just like. Yeah, it is true. You can start again in a different world. Uh, but also at the same time, it's just something about that character where it's like, it just doesn't, it didn't really click to me how someone can just be like, a, like, like that and then go in here and all of a sudden he's like this loud guy in front of everybody, you know, yeah. going in front of the royals, the guards, saying what he wants, doing what he wants, saving girls, talking to girls, all that stuff, right? Yeah. So it didn't really click to me. But now watching this episode, it, Everything makes sense. Now it totally makes sense of what character Subaru was. He's always had that. Yeah. He's always had that inside him because of his, he has he's half his dad. And the whole thing about not giving up, trying saving him, going out loud, oh, pole, here, here, yeah. you yeah. know, Amelia, like, I'm gonna save you. I'm not gonna let you get hurt. Boom, boom, boom. It it was already inside Subaru. Yeah. It's just that he went into a depression that made him a shunny, or that got him to a shunny, and then he got Izekai. Do you kind of get what I'm... Am I, am I making sense in a way? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's always been inside of him. But the thing is, is the reason why he was able to be that way um, in another world was because he had no expectation to live up to uh, because of his dad. He didn't have that pressure. Yes, of course. Because everyone, he says that in the other world, yeah. everyone knows me as Natsuki Subaru. Yeah. In this world, everyone knows me as the son of Natsuki, whatever his dad is. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. that's what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. No, I totally understand that. But what I'm just saying is that in a personality trait, you can't just like... Um, what I'm saying is like you can't... Like... Uh, like an introvert mm -hmm. and who, who's... Like, you know, how Subaru is, and then you go out in the different world, and you can't just, like, all of a sudden just spring out and be oh, like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, this, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, he always had that inside him of, like, he he knows how to, like, be socialized and, like, talk to people. Oh, yeah. Because of the dad yeah. and stuff. But then um, now it totally makes sense 
why Subaru is the way he was and the way he is. For me, I really could relate to this episode and I could mm-hmm. really relate to Subaru because growing up, mm-hmm. I ended up in that same um, mentality as he did mm-hmm. in my junior high days because uh, I was adopted. Mm-hmm. I was adopted mm-hmm. and I was adopted with my birth sister Mm -hmm. and I was always with her Uh, wherever we went, whatever family we went to, I was always with her. And then once we hit our teenage years, um, things happened and the family that we are adopted to ended up not being able to hold on to my sister anymore um, because uh, because of standards and stipulations and such. So um, she had to go to another home and for me, my sister was somebody that like I always had a competition with, always trying to be like follow her, copy her. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was always there for me, and that yeah. was like the one thing that like I felt close to. And mm-hmm. as soon as she left, um, I lost the will for everything. I became depressed. Um, like I used to do crazy things trying to win my friends over. I used to be a daredevil. I like I. That's why I have so many scars all over me because I would do crazy stuff just uh, with my friends. But mm. then um, I just, after my sister left, uh, I got really, really depressed. I stopped going to school. And mm. then it was really, de- for me, it was really depressing. And I really liked this episode because they just show, like, um, he has a very special family. And when it comes to blood, too, sometimes... Uh, it's easier to understand your child, mm-hmm. whereas with my adoptive family, I, for me, I, I don't feel like I had as much mm-hmm. of a connection as I wanted because I mm-hmm. didn't get that from my family. No, I, mm-hmm. But once I was uh, re- not saying that my family was bad, um, it's just I don't think we just had that connection. Right, right, right. So um, I was able to be able to feel that once I met my birth mother and actually know how that feels. And it's 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 amazing. And I really like how they were able to show that in this episode. Oh, yeah, she's guys. One thing you have to know about Tofu, like she's one of the strongest girl I've ever met. She's so strong. I mean, mm-hmm. like just for her to go through like, you know, everything that she's gone through. Uh, from past to be here and still be as strong as per- as a person she is. Like, come on, let's be real, man. You're you're way stronger than I am. But going, no, I'm I'm not. You've been through your own stuff. Everybody has their own stuff that they go through. Yeah, but you are so strong. And no. <laughs> okay, if you think so. Yes, so I think you're okay. so strong. I I think you're one of the strongest person I've ever met. Like seriously. But. Going back to this, I I can really relate to Subaru because going into a new world with no expectation, no stipulation Mm, mm, from mm. um, being in a family or having a certain somebody, I was able to just be whoever I wanted to be Mm. after I started switching from family to school to school. And I I just had all these different personalities that was Mm -hmm. I was I was just free. So um, but yeah, I can really relate to him in this episode. Because, like, when you start a life in another world, you're just, you're re- basically restarting. Yeah, everything. you're restarting, you're resetting. You know, you're not the same person as who you are or who your history it doesn't. None Mm-mm. of your history matters. None of that. You're just freshly starting new as you. Yeah. And you can start however you want. Definitely, I would say today's episode was, had to be by far one of the best episodes for ReZero. It yeah. is the best episode for ReZero. Going back with, though, Subaru, how the hell did he get Isekai anyway? It's a trial. No, 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 no. Isekai oh. from the beginning. How they, how the hell did he even get Satella. transferred? Satella. Satella transferred her, right? Yep. So if I'm thinking correctly, he didn't die. No, he didn't die. He so he didn't die. So he. But it doesn't. We don't know if he will ever be able to return back to his world. Right, but we know that he's not dead in this world. Yeah. So there's still a chance. There's, yeah, there is a chance That's he what could. I'm saying, yeah. But will he take that chance or will he stay with Amelia? Did he already choose Amelia? Oh, shoot. Does that mean... So there's a chance that he... Yeah, if there was if there was a way for him to go back home, would he go back home or would he choose Amelia? His dad said, is there a girl that you found that you like? And he said, yes. So I feel like he loves his parents. Oh, oh, now I now I understand that meaning of it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't. It's like come wedding. Back. Yeah. It's like a wedding. I'm sending my son off because he he found someone he loves. Ah, mm. oh, wow. Okay. Oh man, guys. Um, man.
tell me how many of you guys uh, sobbed and cried on on this, this episode. episode yeah. yeah, they're very very touching. Well, I'm so excited for the season actually now. You know, I I, I now when I see Subaru, I like his character a lot more. You respect him now. It's not about respect. It's more more of I understand him now. Oh, understand. Yeah, Sorry, understand. Before I I I couldn't understand the character of Subaru, and I always thought he was a shun and neat introvert for his whole lifetime. Oh. And then he just becomes comes into a isekai world, and all of a sudden he's an extrovert. That didn't make sense to me. Oh, I get it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But now looking at it, that's what I'm saying. He he had it inside him before that he was always the fun guy in class, making everyone laugh, being loud. Yeah. It it, it always was in it. Yeah, it was inside. Dad. Yeah. yeah. The, what I was saying was that you know him growing up was an introvert. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But cool. All right, guys. That was uh, Re Zero, uh, season two. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll be uh, seeing you guys for the next episode of ReZero. Yes. I know we're uh, pretty inconsistent with our uploads, but we'll try to get the next one on time. Mm-hmm. Also, guys, we once again, we do have a very fun big party live stream. So we really, really hope you guys make it um, on Friday. On Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific Time Central, guys. Yes. Yeah, so thank you. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye.